a little more um, on our on our X than the males do, and they're starting to take like kidneys in kidney transplants, taking a male from a male body into a male and a female and female, they find that they're having better success rates with not having the body reject that organ. So there's all kinds of even areas of all kinds of medicine that are starting to look at this. So it's just barely starting to happen. Um, I think that um, in my day, as Rich said, the issue I was part of the feminist movement in the 19, early 1970s at UC Berkeley. And, you know, in those days, if there was any difference, it was felt that if there's difference, then there's not equality. You can't, if there's a difference in something, if there's a difference in the female body or brain, then women automatically lost out. <laughs> which is sort of silly to us today, but it really was a way that if you said there was a difference, that meant that women didn't get equal pay for equal work. We didn't get, we still don't, do we? No. <laughs> it didn't get um, to say we demand equality. So it was an important political transition in our society that we went through that, but it had some effects in the area, of course, of biology. So today what I would like to do is I wanted to take you through the biology, and I started in neurobiology at UC Berkeley as an undergrad and worked with some of the greats that worked out hormones and behavior in lots of the hormones, particularly Frank Beach, who basically studied the effects of sex drive and sexual behavior with the hormone testosterone and androgens, and lots of the behavioral effects of hormones in um, animal behavior and in human behavior. And remember, the purpose of a hormone is to make a behavior more likely. It doesn't cause a behavior, but it makes a behavior more likely. So if your testosterone level is high, it's more likely that you will have an interest in sex, for example. So let's start at the beginning, though. I want to take you into the world of um, the moment of conception. Sperm hits that egg. And from that moment on, sexual differentiation has begun. That sperm will either be carrying an X, in that case it'll be a girl, or it's carrying a Y, in that case it'll be a boy. So from that moment on, sexual differentiation begins. And let's see, we have this particular slide to begin with. Thank you for my guys in the back there. This is the time at which Lots of the effects of hormones on the brain and body begin. At 